a few months ago, I was absolutely slogging through my workouts. I was feeling a bit burned out. I was dealing with some knee pain. And so I did what every great bro does with knee pain. More biceps. So I was doing too much bicep curling. I was doing too much weight. And I was doing too much of uh, this. Between sets, I was doing everything like the pros. I was hydrating. I was sitting. I was locked in on Twitter. It was then that I stumbled upon a retweet of this guy's video, Connor Curtis. He actually did a really cool video that logged 30 consecutive days of my beloved Nordic curl exercise. I was fascinated. And around that same time, I received an email from the Stronger by Science team. And they happened to publish a really good comprehensive article on reverse Nordics. These two things felt like a sign from the bro gods. I loved it. They were novel. They were interesting and unique. It was an immediate source of inspiration. I felt motivated. There was really only one thing on my mind. So I did obsess about that video for about a week. Uh, but then I did come up with an actual training plan. And my plan was a 30-day challenge that consisted of reverse Nordics every other day. And I didn't want to do consecutive days like Connor because I really wanted to be fresh and ready to train with max effort for each workout. All right, looking at my workout plan, primary exercise, reverse Nordics. During that time, I did some supplemental exercises, but they were definitely secondary. The sets were three to six. I kept the reps at one to five. Intensity, I moved from partial to full range of motion. So basically, I increased the intensity by getting lower with each successive set, and then the same thing workout to workout. For rest, I kept it at one to three minutes. It was self-regulated. I didn't overthink it too much. Basically, when I felt ready for the next set, I went ahead and did it. Okay, so let's take you to day one. Uh, I was pretty pumped about the challenge. I never seriously attempted a reverse Nordic curl before, so I put that barbell up as a safety bar, and my goal was just to touch it and return. That, that right there, <laughs> that is all the further I could get. So, not great. That shit weak, bro. I had a starting point. I knew where I was in my range of motion day one, and I had to improve. So what you're seeing now is the last set of every workout for the next 30 days. So I recorded the last set and my mindset throughout was I absolutely had to improve. There was no wavering, no second guessing. Every day I had to improve that range of motion. And you'll see throughout the workouts, I make subtle technique changes. There are subtle varieties. Uh, I use a band one day. I ultimately start getting my hands on my head. Eventually my goal was hands overhead, all the way down to the pad, full range of motion. And, uh, you know, I made progress. And I think that was largely due to the fact that just a very positive focused mindset. So here we are, day 30 or day 31, test out day. Let's see how I do. Yes, mm, I did it. I achieved my goal, 30 days of reverse Nordics, and I got all the way down, full range of motion, hands overhead, and I was absolutely thrilled. I loved this challenge, and I highly recommend it to all of you. What were the keys to success? It's really just one thing. That is, record yourself. Record your final set every single week. So before you start this, you typically have a picture of what progress looks like. You have day one, and you have in your mind what the final product should be weeks down the road. When I had a recording every single week, I felt like I generated a certain amount of momentum. And as the weeks progressed, I felt that momentum build. Normally throughout time, after you know a few workouts, maybe you start to, to lose some of that motivation. But when you have these videos and you see yourself visually progressing towards that end goal, it is incredibly motivating. And for me, that really heightened my motivation and my energy, and I felt like I was unstoppable. There are a few technique points that I think you guys will find helpful. 
Uh, you can see this is a still frame from day one. I used a rolled up mat underneath my ankles. That was much more comfortable for me than putting my ankles flat on the floor. The second thing is I have a single pad in this first video uh, underneath my knees and that caused me to get a relatively narrow stance. I swapped that out about halfway through. You can see here with two pads and that allowed me to put my knees out much wider. It was just a lot more comfortable and I could get a lot deeper into my range of motion. And then this is towards the end. You can see I swapped out the mat for a soft blue foam roll. That just allowed me to get my feet wider. And when I got my feet wider, I could really sink my hips even lower. And that was really the ideal setup for getting deep range of motion and being as comfortable as possible. All right, so here's a rather horrifying view, but you can see I did this for an example of how wide my knees are, and then you can't really tell, but my feet are also out kind of wide outside of the width of my hips, and that allowed for the greatest range of motion for me. For you, it may be different. I would suggest you experiment with what setup makes the most sense for you, what feels the best, and tweak it as you go throughout um, challenging yourself in this exercise. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments, put them down below. Subscribe to my channel. We'll see you next time.